Hi, this is Dr. Gossett with Phil and Beth. Phil is a retired Illinois State Trooper, and he came in with peripheral neuropathy, which he had diagnosed about five years ago, or longer. Or longer. And it was affecting, was it both your hands and feet? Yes, both feet, both hands. No feeling much in either one of them. Okay. In fact, he'd had problems with his feet. Beth, can you tell us a little bit about what happened? He's had several incidents where he's had injuries or sores on his feet and had no idea and uh, because he wasn't feeling that he'd been hurt or anything so uh, now he's things have changed okay for the better in particular the last visit uh, after finishing up therapy what was it that you said to me i said my feet uh, after i uh, had the therapy I, my feet felt so much better and so much uh, normal like normal feet should feel mm -hmm. instead of all the heaviness or the tingling or the burning or whatever they just felt normal okay and that's the first time you totally felt that yes okay and with your fingertips you were having troubles with sensation in your fingertips probably buttoning shirts and oh, yeah. zippers and buttoning shirts uh, uh, writing holding a screw to you know with a screwdriver trying to screw something in I'd drop it I couldn't hang on to anything that type of thing did cold seem to affect your hands oh, yeah. or feet cold just drove my hands and feet nuts I mean the minute I get out in the cold they just like were almost felt like they were frostbit okay all the time okay has that improved at all oh yes a lot this okay. winter I haven't noticed any like cold coldness to my feet or hands when I'm outside like you know, I gotta get in the house, I gotta get warm because they're just freezing to death. Okay, okay. So peripheral neuropathy, as you may be aware of, most people aren't, bother or starts to develop 10 years before a patient actually goes to the doctor. So it had been about five years ago to seven years you've been diagnosed, diagnosed. which means you've probably had this for 15 years or more. Right. Or 20. So it's pretty miraculous that the body has the ability to heal something that's you know, 15, 20 years old, but it does. Um, would you recommend people come to me and, and have me evaluate them and see if I can help their neuropathy? Oh, absolutely, and I have. I've told several people already, hey, because they'll say I'm having this problem, that problem with the neuropathy, and I said, you need to go to Champaign and see Dr. Tom Gossett because he's helped me a bunch, Okay. a bunch. All right. Because his medical doctor was telling him and there's nothing we can do. Go home. When it gets worse, take more pain pills. Mm -hmm. So there was no solution through a medical doctor. And when we started reading about the studies you've been doing and the results you've been having, it's like, I've got to, I've got to check this out. You've got to make an appointment it. and see what he says yeah. because really, you've been I'm to your primary care? Primary and, care, a neurologist, and into Barnes Hospital. And basically they all said yes you have neuropathy and but no answer no right. answer to make it any better or to cure it or whatever it's just take gabapentin it'll take the pain away okay. you know and they kept you know for a while up in the dosage until they got me where okay you know and now speaking of the pain medicine they had me on I take it in the morning but not at noon like I was before I was taking it three times a day I don't take it all at noon and sometimes I don't have to take it at night okay. so so there's definitely been some healing take place eliminated that too I mean I just take it in the morning because you know you're out of bed and basically the morning one became kind of a, just a habit boom take the pill mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not necessarily that my feet were hurting so bad and my hands were hurting so bad I need to take the pill it's just like you get an habit Okay. So boom, you take your pill. And it might be something eventually you wean yourself off. Yeah, and I think I can wean myself maybe totally off of that medication because the medication, what it did, not only, like they said, it, you know, it'll help you with the burning pain and that type of thing, but it makes you almost drowsy the entire day. Mm -hmm. And you're just lethargic and no energy and that type of thing. Now, so you're not I, able to now I have energy. Okay. I feel like getting up in the morning, go doing something, and you know I don't get as tired as quickly. And, and you're training horses. Yes, I train quarter horses, and this winter even, we've uh, been riding two or three times a week. And uh, last winter I didn't ride at all. Mainly, yes, it was colder, but I just didn't feel like it. Okay. So. 
That's great. That you're able to be more active. Yes. So Much activity more. levels that have been lost are regained in this situation. Uh, Beth, uh, what did you notice with Phil's posture within just a matter of a few visits? <laughs> the little old man that had turned into where he would bend over, always looking at the ground and shuffling and this type of thing. And now he's uh, standing up straight and uh, uh, looking straight ahead. Looking straight ahead, moving out, not scared. And actually walking. Walking with one foot in Good. front of the other because he was afraid he'd fall over. Correct. So uh, yeah, it's 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 been a wonderful experience, Tom and it's all because Dr. Gossett for all because of what you've given us, been able to help us. The thing I was amazed at with the first visit was the X-rays that you showed me. And again, how the spine had gotten so much out of alignment and the curvature in it and everything. And I, and see, I didn't know that either. I wasn't feeling that. I didn't mm -hmm. notice that, you know, I got my shoulders all humped yes. over and I'm looking yes. at I didn't notice that. Mm -hmm. It just it's became routine mm -hmm. to walk that way. Okay. So the reason we're doing this is to encourage people who do have peripheral neuropathy that do have some severe symptoms, like Phil was experiencing, this situation can be turned around with the right treatment.